Am I the asshole for revealing I was pregnant during my sister-in-law's wedding? (laughs) Yeah. I know it sounds bad, but hear me out. I, 27 female, found out I was pregnant about a month ago. I was planning on telling my husband, but I changed my mind as to excite my husband and the family at the same time. Okay. Though I was honestly a little lazy and didn't want to plan an entire dinner, event, or anything else to reveal my pregnancy. So you just used your friend's event? I knew my husband would be suspicious of why I suddenly wanted to host a dinner party. The only other event that everyone was going to attend was my sister-in-law's wedding. Now, personally, I don't like my sister-in-law. She's always on social media with thousands of pictures every 10 seconds, flaunting about her lavish lifestyle with her fiance's money. Me and my husband aren't as wealthy, so I thought maybe revealing my pregnancy would mean I could get even about all those times she bragged about her expensive new purse. Wow, so she's admitting that this was... She hates her fucking guts. Yeah. <laughs> well, how did she even preface this? I know she's it sounds like, bad. She's like, how should I ruin this girl's wedding? Oh my God. She's like, I gave birth on the wedding cake. <laughs> that would probably make her happy about that bitch talking about her purse. <laughs> Fuck. You go, if you bring up your purse again on Instagram, I'm burning the place down. Also, I don't even think your stories can hold a thousand. So just cut the shit, lady. Yeah. Yeah. We know the swipey ones are only about nine. Yeah. Oh, nine at a time. Mm-hmm. Uh, good to know. Maybe 10. The day of the wedding arrives and everything is just beautiful. I was honestly kind of amazed at how incredible it looked. I tried to find a nice time to reveal my pregnancy, but it was honestly much harder than I expected. Flash forward to when we're taking pictures, and I gather up everyone to make an announcement. I ecstatically announce my pregnancy. But instead of getting congratulations and hugs and kisses by the guests, all I got was kicked out. Everyone was whispering under their breath, but it was obvious to everyone that what I did was, quote, messed up. I don't understand why everyone was so negative about the situation. You literally admitted that you were doing it to be shitty, and then you got mad when people said it was shitty. Sorry, yeah. continue. Uh, the most shocked about the situation is clearly my sister-in-law. She goes berserk, screaming about how I was always jealous of her and how I just couldn't help ruin the best day of her life. True. I was too <laughs> shocked to make a sarcastic remark. Where's the lie? <laughs> it's math in here. Math is math in. She was screaming for me to get out. My husband just grabbed my hand and took us to our car. In the car, my husband lost his temper and asked why I would ever possibly do such a thing. I hesitated to respond, but my husband sure didn't. He called me a massive prick and said I shouldn't have done that, and he doesn't understand why I did it. Every time my sister-in-law brags directly to my face, no one starts screaming at them. When we got home, I checked my sister-in-law's Instagram, filled with exaggerated posts and way too many crying emojis. I honestly kind of feel bad now, you know, now that I've really thought about it, but I don't think I'll be satisfied until I get a professional response to my dilemma. Am I the asshole? This, (laughs) a professional response? What does that even mean? This is wild, wild behavior, but also like my advice to her is that you're suffering from severe jealousy. Yeah. And I don't care if the girl's bragging, throwing stuff in your face. That's her own prerogative and you're letting it get to you. And the fact that the second when she got home, she went back on that girl's Instagram. She's you, obsessed. You need to, She's obsessed. You need to mute her. You need to start working on why her shit is affecting your shit so much. So deeply. But I'm also like... Low key, I feel bad, but I was like rooting for the family. Like, I kind of love that they were like, that is so messed up because it was messed up. Yeah. I mean, the fact that the bride had a freak out and kicked her out, it just sounds like that's the bride's personality. Yeah. <laughs> so, and some people are dramatic. And I, I, I just like don't understand ever getting so upset over what someone else posted like on their social media. Like, if you're annoyed by seeing purse pictures and someone traveling all the time, like, mute their stories yeah there's some people that i really like in person and i find them annoying on social media and i just mute them just mute it you don't look and it also sounds like you've been saying like they have more money than me this is such like materialistic shit that's affecting you so obviously a wedding of materialistic stuff was like super triggering for her but it she 
she's saying, I want, am I an asshole? She said that at the end. Read your own words in the beginning. She literally said, I hate her. I hate her. And I want to do something to hurt her in so many words. Yeah. That's well, an it's, asshole. It's like, I was too lazy too lazy to like set like schedule a dinner it's like it doesn't have to be that shoot everyone a text she tried I'm pregnant i know how like you can convince yourself that you're in the right by being like everyone's gonna be happy for me everyone's gonna be in the same place yeah. and low-key it's gonna hurt her feelings but i kind of like that yeah and it that actually is not the reality of the situation and she, the consequences hit and she was an oh. asshole because i look i didn't even I get attention every night I'm a stand-up comedian and on my wedding day it's different than most people because like I'm used to making everything about myself every night so I but so I didn't care that like my friends looked amazing and yeah. I wanted every I wasn't as bridezilla but if someone announced their pregnancy I would feel very disrespected because they're yeah. overshadowing like what the event is about which is like someone else's putting thousands and thousands of dollars into someone else's beautiful momentous occasion for yeah. their life it's so weird I think there's like there's a lot of bride wedding etiquette like don't wear white to someone's wedding don't have a big announcement at someone's wedding mm -hmm. don't steal their photographer to take private pictures of you mm -hmm. don't get engaged at someone's wedding my friends wedding. are influencers so they did but that's was so this person got engaged at their friend's wedding like the boyfriend proposed at the wedding and then they took her bridal photographer <sighs> to take engagement pictures for them. You're fucking done. Done. You're done. So she was like- But I have to say, it's not just like, there's a reason why these things happen in these heightened moments. And it's because- People lose their people shit. People lose their shit because it's either like really happy for someone or really sad for someone. And this is all people who don't know how to regulate their own kind of emotions and situations. Yeah. I also think- drama I joked in the beginning like I want drama the wedding as in like I want you know like I have a fun party how the next day you call your friends like all this shit happened that's yeah. kind of what I wanted but they were great in that they never told me anything and I think another piece of etiquette is like never go to the bride and complain about everything no to the bride the day is so perfect everything was running smoothly and Find um, anyone else and literally anyone that is like I don't care if it's a ninety year old grandma using a walker to get around. Yeah, you find anyone but the bride to answer your problem or deal with it. <laughs> she needs to do such a huge apology. Yeah, like the biggest apology. It's crazy. I I can't even imagine like being like I don't think I'll be satisfied until I get a professional response. It's like, <laughs> imagine she the has, delusion. She brings out a a cake and like with like um gender reveal at the wedding. <laughs> I could see it. I did read a story recently where someone announced their pregnancy at a funeral. I'd pick funeral over wedding. I, I'd pick that because there is kind of a beautiful like circle of life moment. That's what a lot of the listeners like, said. Like Apparently, maybe it's like a rebirth type yeah, thing. A lot of other cultures, it's like really like it's a like a like a favorable event. Yeah, because I know like you're supposed to be sad but you don't want to be sad. Yeah. So if someone said something like, by the way, I am pregnant though. You remember like life comes full circle and maybe he's him like reincarnated. <laughs> she did say something on her post, like out oh, with the old in with the new. <laughs> it was a little fucked up. That was a little fucked up, but I thought about it. I was saying, I was thinking too, the only like life <laughs> event that could happen at a wedding that I wouldn't be mad about is if like someone died. Like I'd be upset, but I'm like, they didn't do it on purpose. Yeah. Which that like, happened can, if you're gonna die, can you just die like after the wedding? Yeah. I honestly, I have never had to do CPR and I, I would, I feel like I'd be the first one to jump, but I'm, I'm so scared shitless because you hear that you crack ribs when you do it. <gasps> oh, I never even thought about that. Oh God. I had a patient go down once. It was oh, so no. bad. She literally, her heart stopped for 14 seconds. And I'm like, I'm like looking around the room because at the old hospital I worked at, we had like code blue buttons and I'm like, where's the button? Where's oh, the button? And she was God. gone. She was gone gone and so we like were flattening out the bed like one of my other people I was working with hopped up there to start compressions and she like came back but it was dicey let me tell you I did just watch a I love creepy disturbing documentaries Same. and I watched one on Netflix called surviving death 
Ooh. And the f- it just the first episode is all these people who had near death experiences. Which I love that. It's apparently like after you have a near death experience, your life is really changed. It's almost like doing an ayahuasca trip, <laughs> like because people who are like atheists, you know, religious, regardless. This one girl drowned for like thirty minutes. She was gone, and she she has these memories of like looking onto herself, seeing certain family members, them wow. telling her like you're not ready, and then they show like four other different stories that are similar one woman knew she was gonna die during her pregnancy she and everyone's like you're crazy she dies for like 14 minutes and sees everything in the room and when she wakes up she tells them like i know exactly like what things you did and they were like there was no way she could have seen it because no. it was like behind was- it was honestly insane but okay. there's like a beautiful part about it where you're like oh my god maybe that's insane yeah just surviving death stuff I wonder if this is a subreddit because now I'm like, I want to do a whole episode on this. Oh my God. There has to be a subreddit on surviving death or near death experiences. Mm, Yeah. A lot of people are talking about that show. Yeah. There's a lot of like afterlife reincarnation. Surviving death only has 466 members, but maybe it'll, it'll perk up a little bit. What do they have for near death experiences in terms of subreddits? 14,000 members. I wonder what kind of weird stories they have. See you next time. I don't take I know, you're welcome to come back. I'm. I'm when's oh, your no, next? You can take it too. No. When's when's your next uh, LA trip? Whenever you want, babe. I have too much fun doing this show.